Hi guys! So it's Arlene and Emma from the Inglot Dairy Store. So today I created this lovely glowy look on Emma using our product of the week, which is the Glow Eye Collection. So in this little tutorial we focus on the medium sparklers, which are the pinkier tones. They're gorgeous with your blushers, they're gorgeous on the eyes as well. So I'm going to show you in the tutorial how I applied them today to create a super glowy uh, Valentine's Fair look. You can always get this online and in store guys. So guys, okay, before I start, I just want to say that we're 100% animal cruelty free and also hypoallergenic. So guys, in today's tutorial we're focusing on the product of the week, which is the Glow Eye Collection. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be using the medium sparklers, which are £18, and they're a variety of three colours. These are like a pinky shade, which are perfect with your blush. I've already applied SPF Primer on Emma's skin, and I'm just going to apply the Refreshing Mist just to refresh the skin. Now I'm going in with the 49YSM foundation which is perfect shade if you've got a little bit of tan. I'm just popping that on with the 38SS brush and trying to build up a little bit of coverage on the skin. I'm just adding a little bit more to the skin to add more coverage. Emma likes a full coverage foundation so the YSM is perfect for this. It's medium and buildable coverage so you can pop it on and build up as much as you like. So off camera before I started the little tutorial I just added a soft smoky eye to the look just using the shadows and the body sparkles. As we're focusing on the skin today and using the medium sparklers I didn't want to take away from the skin so something soft and smoky is perfect for a look like this. Going in now with 96 under eye concealers to brighten the under eye area. Just buffing that in with the 4SS brush then as well to get a little bit better coverage. So just going in now with 43 HD Illuminating Powder. I use this under the eyes to set the concealer. It's a really brightening powder. It's like a banana shade. It's got HD particles in it, so it's quite illuminating under the eyes. It distracts from any colour under the eye and just brightens the whole area. And then setting the whole skin with 12 loose powder using my 1SS brush. So just bronzing the skin now using 77 bronzing block. Just using my 15 BGF this as well, so it's gonna add a little bit of warmth and a little bit of definition to the skin. Going in now with my 515 HD Sculpt. This will be cool tone brown. It's gorgeous to add a little bit more definition and contour in the skin as well. Now I'm going in with 04 Sparkle Dust. This is a gorgeous rosy tone highlighter. So I'm going to use this in conjunction with the medium sparkle as well. As it's got that pinky tone running through it, it's going to blend nicely together. And the soft blush on the skin as well. This is number 33 in the blushes. This is a gorgeous rose tone also. Just adding it to the apples of the cheek on my 15 BGF brush. Popping in now with my medium sparkler, so I'm using shade 31 and 33 today. These are gorgeous peachy tones, one's really peachy and one's slightly pink. So there's a lovely glisten of these, they are medium sparkler, so they're not too intense. I do love using them with my blusher, so I add a little bit of highlight, then my blush, and then pop this over the top of the blusher again to add a little bit more definition. Again, I'm just using my 4SS brush just to buff these into the skin nice and lightly. I go in with a little bit and add a little bit more if I want a little bit more intensity on top of that again. And just to finish off the look, I'm just going to hydrate Emma's skin again and set it all over with the refreshing mist. This one's for normal to dry skin. It's going to just kind of give a little glow to the skin as well and set it all in place. And to finish off the look, I'm just going to pop in with 857 lip liner. And to finish up, I'm going to pop on 68 lip paint on top. So these two colours together create a gorgeous pinky red shade, which is perfect for this Valentine's inspired look. So guys, that's the finished look. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to leave myself and Emma's handles in the next slide.